Hi you guys, it's Pussy coming back to you with another freaking video and today I will be showing you how to make catfish sub sandwiches y'all. It may sound nasty but I'm trying to tell y'all just give it a try and y'all will love it. Y'all will be coming over here talking about thank you very much for this simple sub sandwich y'all. It's so good. So anyways, you first want to start off with some fresh, okay, some fresh catfish. Please don't go get no frozen catfish, get it fresh. Then you will need some seasoned flour. Kentucky, okay, y'all? Get this flour. No other flour, but this one, okay? Use the exact seasonings I'm going to show y'all in this video. Y'all all know Adobe. Adobo. <laughs> Adobo, okay? Get some of this. This one right here. Our purpose. Get some, get some uh, onion salt or onion powder, whichever one you want. Get some seasoning salt. This is the one I have on here. I don't normally use this one, but this is the one I have. Y'all already know. Y'all seen this many times. Garlic and herb seasoning blend. This is the only seasoning you would need, okay? Flour seasoning catfish filet okay i'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients once i'm done washing off the meat so anyways let's get this video started okay so i've got the piece of fish washed off i'm going to start seasoning it with some adobe when i say lightly season this lightly season this because you really don't need a lot of seasoning then i'm going to go in with the garlic and herbs and no you can't miss one of these seasonings you need all of them okay all of them onion and salt the seasoning salt like that y'all y'all see it's seasoned okay then just rub it down take the stuff that's fell rub it on the op opposite end rub it down like so And then you're going to throw it in your bowl of flour. My bowl of flour, just a little bit. Toss that up in there. Then I'm going to pour some more flour on top of it. Like so. Pat it down. And then I'm going to let this fish sit up in the flour until the oil is heated up. Then I will be right back to you once I clean off this tray. Here. Let's get into what we put in on the sub bread, okay? So I got my sub bread. Make sure you get your sub bread fresh from the bakery. I uh, got a tomato. Got some mayo. Some tartar sauce. This is the best one, y'all some ketchup yes ketchup some yellow mustard y'all already know what this is and we got some pickles and we also got some pickles okay oh let's not forget the slice of cheese let, let me cut this bread up and a tomato up and then i will be right back to you okay so y'all see i cut up the sub bread i already added the mayo I have the cheese, the tomatoes, and the lettuce right there, okay? Now, all I'm going to do is just apply the tomatoes first. 
and you can apply how many you want i love tomatoes so i have four then i'm going to put the mustard <laughs> then i'm going to put the mustard at the top of it the ketchup Put the lettuce at the top. Put the cheese at the top. Like so. Then I'm going to add the pickles, y'all. Like so. Now it's ready for the fish, okay? Now all I'll be about to do is take the fish, drop it into the deep fryer, and let it cook. Okay, you make sure you let, make sure you put the fish all the way through. You will know when it's done, when the fish is floating to the top, okay? So now um, I'm gonna give it about five more minutes and then I'm going to plate my plate and then I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Just look at this. It looks good, don't it? I know it do. This is the end of the video. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. So the next time I post a video, you will get notified. Plus, y'all, if y'all try this recipe, y'all, please come back in the comment section and tell me how much you love the recipe. Because if you do try it out, honey, you, you will come back, okay? <laughs> you will come back and let me and everyone else know how good this recipe is but anyways peace out until next time